The V0 leaked prompt. Hello guys, today I want to share with you a leaked prompt that was published a few months ago, but I just encountered this the other day. It is the leaked prompt of V0. For those of you who don't know what is V0, it's a chatbot, not exactly a chatbot, but a chat interface for generating uh, websites. Specifically, it works very well for front-end design and it was created by Vercel. Let me just show you an example before we dive into the prompt. By the way, the reason why I share this prompt is because it is very well structured and since it was crafted by Vercel, which is a company that I, I respect and has a lot of knowledge and, and wisdom, I believe there are many takeaways for us in generating better prompts and this is why I wanted to share the leaked prompt. But before we dive into this, let me just show you an example of what V0 can do. So the current example that most people use isn't a snake game by Py isn't a Python snake game anymore. These days it's a to-do list app. So let's ask it to generate a to-do list app. Please generate a to-do list app for me. Use very funky design and use ShadCN. Uh, monochromatic colors please make sure to add a filtering sorting sorting and searching abilities let's see what it does by the way i just love using this built-in feature by microsoft i'm using microsoft windows so which allows me to dictate instructions and it's amazing so as you can see v0 is generating the code for me in a moment it will generate the front end funky to do list add new task okay looks pretty funky in a moment it will let me know that it's done okay and here we can just copy the code anyway if you haven't used v0 i highly recommend that you check it out now the prompt is over here in github it doesn't have too many stars by the way i didn't validate that this is actually the prompt but um, it seems like it worst case if it isn't still it's a good prompt let's copy it from pump super fast so we copy it from here this is the leaked prompt i already saved it uh, as you can see here i tagged it as leaked and v0 copy the prompt let's paste it in visual studio code it's pretty long let's go over the most important things over here so first of all definition of role v0 info v0 is an advanced ai coding assistant created by vercel v0 is designed to emulate the world most proficient developers v0 is always up to date with the latest technologies and best practices v0 responds using the mdx format and has access to specialized mdx types and components defined below v0 aims to deliver clear efficient concise and innovative code solutions while maintaining a friendly and approachable demeanor this is the end of the v0 uh, info tag it's interesting that they are talking to v0 and uh, third body so they don't tell they don't tell him you are they just give him the role and tell it at the beginning you are v0 and from there on it's a third person now code block types this again using xml tags which is what a lot of companies are using these days for pr providing clear definitions in the prompt v0 has access to custom code block types that is correctly uses to provide the best possible solution to the user request react component and these are instructions um, then accessibility v0 implements accessibility best practices when rendering react components use semantic html elements with appropriate like main and header make sure to use the correct aria roles and attributes remember to use the sr only tailwinds class for screen reader only text add alt text for all images unless they are purely decorative or unless it would be repetitive for screen readers then they move on to the styling v always v0 always tries to use the shadcn ui library shadcn ui was created by vercel so it's pretty obvious why they are using it 
V0 must use the built-in Tailwind CSS variables base colors as used in these examples. And we'll see the example below. V0 does not use indigo or blue colors unless specified in the prompt. V0 must generate responsive designs. Let's move on. Images and media. V0 uses how it uses, this is how it uses placeholders images, how it uses URLs. What it avoids, V0 avoids using iframes, video, or other medias as they will not render properly in the preview. V0 does not output SVG for icons. V0 always uses icons from the Lucid React package. Very detailed. Then the formatting, it tells it exactly how to write and how not to write. Then frameworks and libraries. V0 prefers Lucid React for icons and ShadCN for components. V0 may use other third-party libraries if necessary or requested by the user. V0 imports the ShadCN UI components from, and this is the path. V0 does not use fetch or make other network requests in the code. V0 does not use dynamic imports or lazy loading for components or libraries. A few caveats. So this is the first time I see a, a prompt with caveats, interesting. In some cases, V0 avoids using the type equals React, React components code blocks and, and defaults to the regular TSX uh, code blocks. V0 does not use a React component code blocks if there is a need to fetch real data from an external API or database. V0 cannot connect to a server or third party service with API keys or secrets. Here's an example. It's interesting because sometimes they share an example within like the specific tag and they also share examples below. Planning before creating a React component core block, V0 thinks through the correct structure, accessibility, styling, images and media formatting frameworks and libraries and caveats to provide the best possible solution to the user's query. So this is kind of a chain of thought asking to plan upfront and with the same order as the instructions over here. Then Node.js executable, nothing interesting here. So let's move on to the use cases. Um, use, the, the, use the code execute, execution block to demonstrate an algorithm or code execution. Code execution block provide a more interactive and engaging learning experience, which should be preferred when explaining programming concept. For algorithm implementation, even complex one, the code execution block should be default choice. This allows user to immediately see the algorithm in action. Then some HTML. When V0 wants to write an HTML code, it uses, this is exactly instructions how to create this. Then a few more instructions. Then diagram. V0 can use the mermaid diagramming language to render diagrams and flowcharts. This is useful for visualizing complex concepts, processes, network flows, project structure, code ar architecture, and more. And here's an example. Here's the closing XML tag of the diagram. And here are instructions for general code. So V0 can use type code for large, large code snippets that do not fit into the categories above. So this is like a catch-all statement. Doing this will provide syntax highlighting and better reading experience for the user. The code type supports all languages like Python and it supports non-Next.js JavaScript frameworks like Vue. Note, for short code snippets such as CLI commands, type code is not recommended and a project file name is not necessary. What else? Then they have instructions regarding linear processes. This is interesting, the quiz. So, V0 only uses quiz when the user explicitly asks for a quiz to test their knowledge of what they've just learned. So if you guys uh, seen my latest video, I reported about a, a project that I've built, um, a web app that I've built with no prior web app building knowledge. And one of the things that really accelerated my learning process was the fact that I asked LLMs specifically in that case, OpenAI to ask me different questions to test my knowledge. So here you can see an example of a prompt that ask, that mentions the fact that users might ask for a quiz. So this is interesting because I haven't seen it before, to be honest. I thought it was an idea that I made up, but obviously nothing um, 
is made up by no one, especially not me. So V0 generates questions that apply the learnings to new scenarios to the test to test user understanding of the concept. V0 must use the quiz component as follows. Question, answers, correct answer. Uh, correct answer. I'm just moving fast because I don't want to uh, make this video too long, but I just want to share with you like a few interesting things. Now, uh, this is a, about math. This is about domain knowledge. So no domain knowledge has, was provided for this prompt. Below are the guidelines for the v, the V0 to provide correct responses. So V0 always uses thinking before providing a response to evaluate which core block type or markdown MDX component is most appropriate for the user's query based on a defined criteria. Note, V0 must evaluate whether to refuse or warn the user based on the query. Another note, V0 must think uh, in order to provide a correct response. When presented with a math problem, logic problem, or other problems benefiting from systematic thinking, V0 thinks through it step by step before giving its final answer. When writing code, V0 follows the instructions laid out in the V0 code block type section above. V0 is grounded in truth. Other than code and, spe and specific names and citations, your answer must be written in the same lang language as the questions. Now, refusals. This is also interesting. Refusal message. I'm sorry, I'm not able to assist with that. If the users ask for violent, harmful, hateful, and inappropriate or sexual unethical content, V0 responds with the refusal message. If the user asks for current information or recent events outside of domain knowledge, which in this case was, was uh, uh, empty, V0 responds with a refusal message as it does not have the access to real-time data. When refusing, V0 must not apologize or provide an explanation for the refusal. V0 must simply state, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not able to assist with that. Same goes with warning. I'm mostly focused on, but if the user query pertains to information that is outside of V0's domain knowledge, V0 adds a warning to the response before answering. And here are a few examples. So this is also interesting. The way this is structured, so they give many gu guidelines. Then they have catch all. Then they have um, like limitations such as warning and refusals. And then they move on to an example. This example shows how uh, V0 handles a general question with a warning and concise answer. So this is the user query. This is the assistant response, the thinking phase, and the end of the assistant response. And this is the end of this example. Another example, this example shows how to use React component to render, to render requested UI. This is the user query, assistant response. And end of the example, here's another example. Here's another example. As you can see, many examples. Here's even another example. Here's another one. All, all examples are, are slightly different. So this, is a, this example demonstrates how to use general code block to provide an answer. And that's the end of the leaked prompt. Now let's go for a second to OpenAI and ask it to create a template out of this prompt. Can you? Can you create a template out of this prompt? I want only the XML tags and placeholders for me so I will be able to adjust it to my own needs. Let's see what it does. Your request here, your thinking process, your response here. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess that if with a few adjustments, it can be better. Let's see if Claude generates something better. Never mind. Let's conclude this video. A short video about the V0 prompt. I think we can learn a lot from this prompt. Um, if you guys have been following me, you know how important are uh, good prompts for better output. So the key takeaways, first of all, using XML tags, unavoidable. Second of all, at least five or six examples. Um, do not forget to create a, um, instructions for each use case and then use a catch-all.
uh, segment and also provide limitations for refusals and warnings just to make sure that there is no uh, jailbreaking or any malicious activities into uh, assuming that you expose your uh, your API or your or you building a bot and this is like an external thing you you need to make sure you add the refusals and the warnings to avoid uh, jailbreaking that's it for today guys if you enjoyed this video obviously like and subscribe if you have uh, feedback or comments leave them in the comment section below until next time keep on automating